Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Ubuntu Desktop on a Proxmox VM. So, uh, this makes it to where you can actually VNC inside of the Ubuntu and uh, have your own Ubuntu operating system on your Proxmox. So, uh, a little bit about this series I'm going over at Home Labs, so going over installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. So, we're going to need to uh, get the VM, the ISO inside there. So, I'm going to go to local right here. Then I'm going to go to ISO images. Then I'm going to go to download from URL. And we're going to need to get the URL to the Ubuntu uh, desktop. So, we're going to go over to the Ubuntu da download we website, get the URL, and then come back here. So I'm going to go to the Ubuntu download site and it will be down in the description so you can get to it. I'm going to go to the desktop one and then I'm going to scroll down to 22043 long term support. So uh, so we're going to need to download it and you could have a newer version so as long as that says LTS on yours you should be fine. So uh, you could have a newer version of, uh, of this. So I'm going to go over here. And I'm gonna say download. Then I'm going to go here and copy this link. So now once that link's been copied, you can go into the download from URL where we went to last time. And I'm going to paste it in. And then I'm gonna cure the URL. And then it's the Ubuntu ISO. So I'm going to download right here. And this will take a bit. So I'm gonna pause it and I'll come back once it's done. So once it's complete, it'll show you the time it took. So mine took three minutes and 15 seconds to complete. So um, now it's down to the iOS, uh, the ISO. So I'm going to exit out of here and you can see that it's right here. It's five gigabytes. So we can get to creating the VM now. So once you got the ISO ready to go, I'm gonna go up here to create VM and then I'm going to put it on the node and then I'm going to um, get, I give it a VM ID so I'm going to give it a 700 then I'm going to give it a name so Ubuntu VM T okay so now I'm going to say next I'm going to click the ISO one that we just downloaded and then I'm going to say next I'm going to say next so I'm giving it uh, a disk space of 32 gigabytes. So I'm gonna say next. I'm gonna give it two cores to work with. So now I'm going to say next. I'm going to give this four gigabytes of RAM. And then now I'm going to leave this alone. And then here you go. That's what I've done. So now I'm gonna finish. And this is going to boot up over here, the 700. So now we have it up. So I'm going to start it now. And then I'm going to go to console. And you can get started with installing Ubuntu. So now I'm going to go over to my console. And I'm going to see that it's uh, starting up. So now once you say you want to try and install Ubuntu. You're going to come up with the install right here. I'm going to press English or whatever language you're in. So now I'm going to press install. Okay, now I'm going to go for English myself. So I'm going to go continue. Normal installation, download updates while installing Ubuntu. And then you can install third party software if you want to, but I'm not going to. I'm going to continue. 
And then I'm going to say erase disk and install Ubuntu because this is a VM and it's running it's, it by itself. So I'm going to press install now. And it's going to warn you that you're fixing to erase and that's fine. So continue. Okay, so now we're going to continue. I'm going to give it a name, so I'm going to give it a big bear. And I'm going to give it a password. So remember this password, so you can sign in. So now you can require my password at login or login automatically. So I'm going to continue. Then I'm going to co copy the files. I'm going to install it. So this could take a little bit. So I'm going to pause it right here and then I'll come back once it's done. So once it's done and that screen goes away, it'll say installation complete. You need to restart computer in order to use the new installation. So I'm going to restart. And I'm going to press enter. And it's going to start back up. Okay, now it started back up, so you can put your uh, your password in. So I'm gonna put my password in real quick. And then it's up and running. So I'm gonna skip this. You don't have to if you don't want to. Say next. Next. And then next, and then done. Okay, now you have it up and running, so now we can start updating. So you'll get pop ups here as say install now, uh, like updated software. I'm gonna go into my applications, and then I'm gonna go to my terminal, and then I'm gonna do sudo apt get. Update and sudo apt get upgrade. And now I'm going to return. Okay, now I'm going to type in my password. Typed it in wrong. Okay, now it's going to work. It's going to update the packages. Then I'm gonna press return or enter. Okay, now that's done. So we can go out of here and we can go out of here. And then now the UI way, how you do that in the UI is go up here, I go to software update. Then now it's gonna check for updates. Shouldn't find any because we just ran the updater. But, so that's the UI way. And then I showed you the terminal way. So we got it up and running and it's up to date. So I just showed you step by step on how to get Ubuntu desktop working on a Proxmox VM. So th this makes it to where it's self-contained by itself, got its own disk space, got its own kernel, everything like that. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord and stay tuned for more.